Hi there, it's Tim from the Canadian Outdoor Equipment Company, and today we're going to be looking at which axes are best for winter camping. <coughs> so winter camping with hot tents, and why would you do it any other way, involves feeding a stove. Now I know I'm going to get lots of angry emails from cold campers. No disrespect meant towards cold campers. Uh, but when you are out in a hot tent using a stove, you're going to need to feed that stove. Uh, which involves cutting and splitting firewood. Now cutting and splitting firewood involves two tools, a saw and an axe. Using an axe only to feed a stove is possible, but a lot of work. Uh, more work than it's worth in my estimation. It's also not as efficient in terms of the use of the wood that you collect, because you have to chop fairly large wedges to get through larger pieces of wood. So better to take a saw with you as well. Uh, we'll deal with saws in a later video. But for the purposes of this video, we'll assume that we have logs cut and bucked up. And we're also assuming that these are dead standing trees that we found or trees on the ground that are dry and not rotted. You don't ever want to cut live or green trees. They don't burn and it's bad karma. So the work of an axe in a winter camping setup then is primarily splitting. Uh, so splitting axes take precedent as they're the most useful and efficient for this task. Now, Grants Forest Brook has a line of dedicated splitting axes which include the maul, the large splitting axe, the small splitting axe, and a splitting hatchet. Now the maul for winter camping, as portability is part of the equation, the maul is a bit big and actually kind of overkill. So this is more for home or cottage use, not really winter camping size. The large splitting axe comes in two handle variants. The one here, which is a 27 inch handle, but also a 31 inch handle, which is the same size as the mall. So again, the 31 inch handle, a bit big, probably not one that you're gonna to wanna to take out with you. Uh, we do also have a small splitting ax and a splitting hatchet. So I'd say the large, small, and the hatchet are ideal. Now, all the Grants Force splitters have collars on the handle shoulder to protect from overstrike. Everybody misses sometimes, and that tends to be where it takes it. So that helps protect that part of the handle. The heads, uh, head geometry are very wedge-like as well, and they feature concave cheeks. So when you force the head down into a piece of wood, the wood's kind of forced apart as the head is driven down into that piece of wood. So essentially, size and weight preferences are what's going to help determine what's the right ax for you to take splitting is. Um, so to start with, the large splitting ax has a 27-inch handle, as I mentioned, and a 3.5 pound head. A small splitting ax features a 23 inch handle and a two pound head. Splitting hatchet has the same head size and weight as the small splitting ax, so two pounds, but features a 19 inch handle. So those three would kind of be the optimal, and again, you just pick whichever one suits your size and weight preferences. Now another option though, is the Council Tool 24 inch Woodcraft ax. Now this is not a dedicated splitting ax, it's more of a jack-of-all-trades ax, covers all the bases, limbing, felling, chopping, but it's also an effective splitter, uh, deceptively so. It features a flat Scandinavian grind and it actually penetrates very well into wood, so it does actually a, a good job of splitting. So if you are looking for an ax that's maybe not quite so narrow in its designed purpose, meaning primarily splitting, uh, the Council Tool Woodcraft 24 inch is a, is a good, good one to take a look at. On a side note, uh, winter is a very tough time of year on uh, wood handle tools. Uh, so you want to make sure that your wood handles are oiled and waxed before taking them out. Uh, we do have a full line of products to help keep your axes performing at their best. We do also have hot tents, stove, and other winter camping supplies. If you have any questions, please do shoot us a line, give us a phone call, and do check out our website at www.canadianoutdoorequipment.com. Happy hot tenting!